phi uh, bracket x plus 3 is equal to 40. So what does this mean? So this phi which is sitting outside the bracket means phi has to be multiplied to x and phi has to be multiplied uh, with 3. So the first step is to expand the brackets. So let me write on the right hand side, expand the brackets. So when you have a bracket and you have something sitting outside the bracket, expand the bracket. So you have to multiply phi to both x and 3. So this I'm going to write like this. So this is phi times x plus phi times 3. That's what this means. This bracket and this phi means is equal to 40. So this becomes, so let me write the next step. So this is same as writing 5x plus 15 is equal to 40. Okay, now I'm going to take away 15 from both sides. So you can say, well, I don't want 15 here, so I can take away 15. I, to cancel this plus 15, I have to do minus 15. So if you do take away, so if you're taking away 15 from one side, you do the same thing on the other side. So this plus 15 and minus 15 gets cancelled. So this is 5 lots of x is 40 take away 15. So 40 take away 10 is 30. And 30 take away 5 is 25. So now, well, this is 5 lots of, or this is 5 times x. So how would I undo that? So to divide that by 5, this side by 5. So you do the same thing on the other side. So phi and phi gets cancelled, so x is equal to phi. Hopefully you have uh, done this example yourself. So the first step is to expand. So 4 times I'm going to do it directly. So 4 times x is 4x plus 4 times 6 is 24 is equal to 28. So the first thing that we need to do is undo this 24. So I'm going to take away 24 from both sides. So 4x plus 24, take away 24, is equal to 28, take away 24. So this gets cancelled. So this is 4 lots of x is equal to 4. So now dividing both sides by 4, 4x divided by 4, is equal to 4 divided by 4. So x is equal to 1. Now, many of you can figure out this answer directly without doing the process. You can say, well, 4 times 7 is 28. So x should be 1. OK, but there are questions where you can't get an answer which is neat like this. You can get a decimal number, and you are stuffed, and you can't get the answer. OK, now what will happen if you've got x's on both sides? So the process that I'm going to do is you're going to I'm going to bring the x's on one side. When I say x's, you've got six lots of x sitting here and four lots of x sitting here. And you've got a 10 here and a 30 here. So first thing I want to bring the numbers on the ones on right hand side and x's on the left hand side. So the first thing that I want to undo is this plus 10. So to undo this plus 10, I have to take away 10. So I'm taking away 10 from this side. So you do the same thing on the other side. So 4x plus 30, take away 10. So when you do the process, you understand what's happening. So 6 lots of x is same as or is equal to 4x plus 20. Now next thing is I don't want this 4x sitting here. So I'm going to take away 4x from this side. So I can say 6x minus 4x is equal to 4x minus 4x plus 20. So basically, I've taken away 4x from both sides. So plus 4x and minus 4x gets cancelled. And this is 6 lots of x take away 2 lots of x, which is Sorry, 6 lots of x take away 4 lots of x, 
is 2 lots of x is equal to 10, 20, sorry. And finally, 2x divided by 2 is equal to 20 divided by 2. So 2 gets cancelled, so x is equal to 10. Okay, so I'm going to put up a question which is not going to be a neat number. Okay, so what will happen if it is, say, 7x plus, say, 18 is equal to 2x uh, minus 10? Okay, the first thing is, you can pause this video and try to do this yourself. Okay, so the first thing first, I want to undo this plus 18. So I'm going to take away 18 from both sides. So plus 18. So I'm going to take away 18 from this side. So I have to do the same thing on the other side. So 2x, take away 10, take away 18. So this gets cancelled. So this is 7x is equal to 2x. This is minus 10 minus 18. Okay, so from minus 10, you're taking away minus 18. So it's going to be minus 28. Okay, and now I want to cancel this 2x. So I'm going to take away 2x from both sides. So 7x take away 2x is equal to 2x take away 2x minus 28. 2x minus 28. So this and this gets cancelled. So this is 5 lots of x is equal to minus 28. Now I want to cancel this 5, so I have to divide both sides by 5. So 5 times x divided by 5 is minus 28 divided by 5. You can leave the answer like this, but if you want to write this as a decimal, so minus 28 divided by 5, and if you want to do without a calculator, I'm going to multiply both sides, both the top and the bottom by 2, which is minus 56 divided by 10. So here we go, the answer is minus 5.6. You can put the answer back in the equation and see whether it works. So you can use a calculator 7 times minus 5.6 plus 18 what you that will give you a number so let us let me show you this on a calculator so 7 times minus 5.6 is okay so I think I have to use a different calc I'll use my scientific calculator so menu run so 7 times minus 5.6 is minus 39.2 and this same so that's your left hand side so let's cancel that okay and 2 times minus 5.6 take away 10 should also be I've done something wrong yeah so let's see what happened Okay, let's see. Okay, what am I doing? No, okay, so let's try it again. 7 times minus 5.6, it's a good exercise, plus 18 is minus 21.2. No, we, I was right, so I did put a wrong number here. And if you go 2 times minus 5.6 take away 10 is also minus 21.2 okay so that's how you can check so this side basically what we're saying is this is minus 21.2 and is equal to minus 21.2